Starlink has released their cheapest maritime plan to date. Come and join us to find out more about this plan. Hi, I'm Dan from the Molinet Resource Center. Starlink has released a third tier to the, mar- to the maritime setup with the cheapest plan yet. This new recreation plan, which is being sold both as a maritime plan and mobility plan, is $250 a month for 50 gigabytes of priority data. This new maritime plan at $250 for 50 gigabytes joins the other maritime tiers at $1,000 for one terabyte of data and $5,000 for five terabytes of, of data. The previous two tiers were quite expensive and well over reach of most boaters. So this new plan is definitely bringing maritime service into the more affordable range for cruisers and boaters. An interesting aspect of this new plan is once you exhaust your 50 gigabytes of priority data, the behavior after this depends on your location. If you are on land or inland waterways using this plan, then you will revert to basic data, basically the same deprioritized data as a roam plan, and have unlimited data usage. If you are in open ocean with a water crossing, when you exhaust your data, then all of your data will be terminated, except for being able to go to starlink.com to purchase more data at $2 a gigabyte. If you are on open water when you exhaust your 50 gigabytes and you decide not to purchase more data, you will either start with new data on your next billing cycle or when you approach land and transfer over to the basic data access. Another great change we are seeing implemented with this new plan is Starlink is allowing users to change freely between the Starlink Rome plans, the regional and the global, and this new Starlink Maritime mobility plan. That's great news because the 50 gigabytes of priority data could be exhausted pretty quickly on land. So instead of having to watch how much data you are using, users that are or boaters and cruisers that are on inland or along the coast can remain on a roam plan with unlimited deprioritized data. They can switch to the maritime mobility plan as soon as they plan to take off, and that change becomes effective immediately whenever you're going up in tiers on a plan. They'll now have 50 gigabytes of priority data at their disposal to use during the water crossing. Once they finish their water crossing, they've exhausted their priority data, they will revert to basic access data And if they choose to, they can switch back to the Rome plan. Now, when downgrading plans, the change takes effect at the end of your billing cycle. So you can move up in plans immediately. You can downgrade at the end of your billing cycle. But either way, when you're on land with either the mobility, maritime mobility plan or the Rome plan, you have you have unlimited deprioritized data. So that should be great for everyone. Another exciting feature of this new maritime slash mobility plan is this is the first time Rome users who have the flat HP dish for in-motion use have access to priority data. Prior to this, Rome users were always deprioritized. So even with the higher spec flat HP dish, you were always deprioritized behind behind priority users. Now, if even a land user, including our viewers, would like to have some priority data, they can opt into this maritime mobility plan and we see 50 gigabytes of priority data. And when that's exhausted, they'll just go back to the, the basic deprioritized data that they had on the Rome plan. And they can, of course, can switch back and forth between the plans as they deem necessary. One of the unknowns with this new maritime mobility plan is if Starlink's going to require everyone to use the flat HP dish with it. We have seen reports of people outside the US successfully switching to this new plan on a standard Starlink dish, which is not approved for in-motion use. However, it seems users inside the U.S. probably, due to regulatory reasons, are not being allowed to make this change. We're not sure the official word from Starlink on this, and we'll just have to wait and see how that works out in the future. But for those in the U.S., you should probably plan that you would need the flat HP dish most likely to enjoy this new maritime mobility plan and moving back and forth between the Rome plans and this mobility plan. Overall, we're very excited to see this new, much more affordable maritime plan make it into the choices for boaters, cruisers, and even RVers. While the 50 gigabytes is on the low side, it is nice with the option to change plans that you can have unlimited deprioritized data while on land, and you have a way to get priority data when you choose to be on this plan. So that does give users some choices on how they want to handle that. We are suspecting that the Rome plans, which have been working out at sea, are probably going to be geofence 
uh, pretty soon since this new plan has finally been released. But again, that'll be something we'll have to wait and see how that takes effect. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.